G'day everyone, Scott here from One Green Thumb Gardening in Toowoomba. Just wanted to show you how hard you can cut back your flowering May or Mayflower, whichever way you want to call it. So this guy has a beautiful white flower, but after time what happens is from being trimmed, they get really quite sticky and stalky and you can sort of see inside like these newer shoots here, they just grow really quite tall and straight. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in there. So you can sort of see these great big tall shoots. And then of course you get a lot of this, these old shoots that will just die out. Like that. And then they're stuck in there and they just look quite ugly. So um, this guy was the same. We sort of trimmed him back and it's just got to the point. Just chop him back. So I usually go down to below knee height is where I go and then um, but this will come back absolutely amazing all your new shoots will come through and within six months this guy will be just flourishing and it'll look amazing rather than as you can see when you every time you go to hedge it it's just a, a sticky mess so um, I'm gonna hopefully put the camera here and see if you can see me do a bit of a chop Get into it, eh? Don't be too afraid. I like to use a chainsaw. Make sure that your chain is fairly tight because otherwise, because of the nature of the, the sticks, it'll bounce your chain off and then sometimes it can burr your chain up and then it doesn't go on the bar. So make sure your t chain is nice and tight. When you're going in to cut these guys down, you're just sort of putting in and just doing So you can sort of see in here, like the amount of dead branches there is. If you do go to get your hands in and clean most of this out, gloves are advisable. I've had where the sticks will go straight up underneath your fingernails. Generally doesn't feel too pleasant. I did that with these budgulars probably a year ago. Took them back to just enough, sorry? nothing but stalk so i took them straight back down into here so all there was was just a bunch of sticks and now they look beautiful Budula. Budula. Just try and matic that guy out so it's not against the fence. Alrighty, so there you go, guys. So, with your mayflowers, just chop him right back. All this 
all these new shoots that are coming through will just flourish and the same with even these old guys they'll they'll all come back looking amazing in generally three to six months and then yeah it'll look much much nicer come next year for the flowers you just have a bucket load of beautiful fresh white flowers Alrighty, thanks for watching One Green Thumb Gardening and have a great day. See ya.